What's up, YouTube? So I want to make a video, quick video today. I've been a little bit depressed recently about financial slavery, the banks, the money that controls us, my own personal finances as well as collective. I was dwelling there for a little bit too long and I was saying, you know what? I want to change my energy here. I want to put out some positive light and shed some light on this darkness to show where we are headed. What is possible? What's our goals? What do we want? So we must face the darkness and shine light in it. So I was reading Michael Tellinger's book, The Buntu Contributionism. I took down 11 like guidelines for it. And I wanted to share with you all today. This might help clear up some of the uh, understanding of what is Ubuntu contributionism and how does it work? What does it mean? What's the what's the um, basic you know philosophy behind it? So here are eleven quick points. The country is for its people. The land is there for its people. The water is there for its people. The forests are there for the people. The rivers and lakes are there for the people. The gold, silver, platinum, diamonds, chrome, iron, uranium, tin, aluminum, and all other minerals in the ground are there for the people. The air and the airways are there for the people. Everything that grows on the land is there for the people. The beaches, mountains, and the skies above are there for the people. The animals do not belong to us or anyone else. They belong to the planet. And we are their custodians and protectors. Knowledge and wisdom is to be shared by those who attain it with everyone so that everyone can benefit from the collective wisdom. I got took a, form, a few more notes. Um, so we have a five point mantra no money, no barter, no trading, no value attached to anything greater than anything else. Because all efforts and contributions are equally valuable. Everyone contributes their natural talents or acquired skills for the benefit of all in their community and therefore everything is available to everyone at all times. So we have God-given rights. We are born free as living, breathing beings of flesh and blood with an infinite soul with inalienable rights. Freedom is not our right. It is a gift from the divine creator to each and every one of us, which nobody may challenge or violate in any, in any way. No one, no government, and no corporation may restrict an individual freedom in any way, our individual freedom in any way. So we have common law. So this is just common sense that Ubuntu uh, will follow if, um, with every, all the communities across the world. Do not kill or harm others. Do not steal or take what is not yours. Conduct yourself honorably. Honorably in all you, that you do and say. And last quick thing. Is competition good? Here's what Ubuntu philosophy has, has to say about it. 
No, contribution is no good. It leads to separation, division, and conflict. It leads to suppression of knowledge and it drives the divide and conquer principle. So, for me, it already hit me, it makes sense. It may take time to sink in, but basically, if we shared everything, everything would be a lot easier. <laughs> if everything was just shared with everyone, we would be in so much abundance and bliss. It would be ridiculous. It's harder to have than to share. It's harder to hoard than to share. It's harder to have individual bank accounts and strive for more personal money, personal wealth. You may share with your family, but imagine if everyone shared with everyone. It would be totally next level. <laughs> All right. Peace. Thanks for watching.